Hey guys, Will right here, and um, we have the reveal for our next banner, which, yeah, it's Spook Seven's beginning banner, so we'll cover for our usual spiel here. Uh, so we got these units revealed in the pay channel, so it's just seeing their skills now. And the first up is our new rearmed hero. Like, I can't say I'm surprised anymore with this one. I literally covered it. Or fairly off. The Starlight Maiden. I just want to yell out whoosh and bam when I deal the finishing blow, don't you? So, Red Toe Emission Units. Arcane Eclipse is now special trigger, so we'll go to minus one. So, this Luna is so far looking at two. At the start of turn one, Grand Scrolling Charge plus one, so then it just drops the one. And at the start of combat, if HP is over 25%, attack speed defense rest plus five to her. She's guaranteed with a follow attack and neutralize any penalties to your attack during combat. Oh, the this is a rearmed weapon, so it can't be transferred to another red tomb unit. So I'm just, so I say specifically, like, she, like, I specifically say, like, she, it's typically laying to she or him or something. It's the same thing to the unit that has it currently equipped as they were being revealed. So, just for future references, if anyone wants to figure wonders why, like I said, these things, but they're on different units, you put them with different units. Learn that two charge strengths in the weapon. Choose foes, defense, and resistance by 50% during combat. Attack res finish four. If she is within three spaces of an ally, attack res plus seven to her during combat. And also, if her special is ready or her special is before or during combat, deals five more damage. And when she deals damage to food during combat, restores seven HP to her, to her, even though damage is dealt. Special Spiral 4 deals five more damage to special triggers. This is an upgrade skill, of course. And, spe and special triggers neutralize the reduced damage by X. It's from non special skills. So things like. Uh, Selica, that's Selica. Blaine's weapon just don't work. Uh, the special triggers before or after combat, calling charge minus two after combat. So it's just basically like this case is just Luna is basically just going to be guaranteed that after she uses it once. Then type post three start turn if calling counts back to value, calling count minus one. So instant Luna. Then on turn one. So, probably best that she's going to be like heavy magic nuke here. Alright, that's if not. Other new heroes, guys. So, you have the perfect angel. Is there a library here? I've committed most of the books I have at home to memory. <laughs> Saldori, blue, blue last line unit. Prowzy's polearm, a south spell trigger, so call the minus one. At the combat, if her HP is about 25%, attack speed defense rest plus five to her, and neutral effects that guarantees a full swap attack, and prevents hers. And also reduces foe's attack defense during combat by X percent of her speed at the start of combat, and X is five times the number of her max HP. And attack speed defense rate stats are no more than five higher than the foe's corresponding stats at the start of combat. Plus, sorry, I think that's the five. Well, regardless, that that's symbol ten. Uh, reading occasionally. Anyway, Dragonic Ores to charge tanks or weapon boost stats by thirty percent of her eight, of her attack. Attack speed cast four at start of combat if foe sees reach one hundred percent or penalties active on foe. Attack speed plus seven if both are applied. You get an additional plus two for a total of nine. Then attack speed hold. Inflects attack speed minus four and foes when free spaces during combat. Part up skill from the rain skills. You're not gonna like this. Okay. And then next we have Sleepy Butler. Don't rest so you can work hard. Work hard so you can rest. Wait, where? Id plus, which is a new staff. At the start of turn, resource 10 HP to allies them without the most damage, excluding themselves. So, this is just basically mythic boost, no, sparkling boost from air. Just put to a weapon. 
Minor plus resource HP equal to damage style to units plus 50% of their attack. Minimum 7 HP. I'm resource HP to them equal to half the damage style to themselves. And then Heavenly Knight is two charge banks. No, and then when healing with staff, the web resource 10 HP to all allies. If a raid attack defense free, with a pain, if a raid gets attack res plus X during combat and access space on the number of defensive structures. More than five is ten, four is seven, three is four, and less two or less is one. Destroyed structures are not counted. And then speed tactics free at start turn. Speed plus six to allies in two spaces for one turn. Granted only if the number of allies in that space is two or less. And then, of course, the new mythic hero, also free. But we'll still cover her nonetheless. The Goddess of Hope. Safer. Of Midgard, I am known as Sather of Vanahamer, the realm of light. Blue Twin Cobbler Unit. The future is in sight. Do we get to your sound switch? Too bad. But, let's cover all this though, safer. A solid special trigger, so Code of Command is one of course. At the start of turn, if she's in two spaces of an ally, grants the following fact to her and allies in two spaces of her for one turn. Full can make follow-up attack. If she initiates combat or she's in two spaces of an ally, grants attack speed defense from specific fight during combat. She makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, and she deals damage equal to 20% of her res, including when that the damage from a special trigger before combat. Iceberg is boosted by 50% of res, two charge fangs of the weapon. Still waters attack defense, sorry, attack res plus seven, but she loses fight defense. Chill attack res free, upgraded skill of course. At start turn, attack res minus six on enemy in the highest team with the highest attack res total. And full soon two spaces off that target for the next action. Oh, that full, sorry. And then future focused, her unique skill. On all number turns, after foes start a turn skill triggers, for the closest foe in current direction of her, if she outspeeds the beats the rose foes res by her res, and X is the dis distance between her and the foe times three, then that foe's action is done. It's an end immediately. So if she if the foe's range is three, she needs to be nine res higher. Just for at the work. There is hope yet. At least that's what I'm reading up. Then it has a new story chapter, time. So yeah, so as you see, Hans, he's the ground he is the Drowning Hero Battle and that new enemy in the middle, the Colorless Tome unit, is our support, I guess, our villain. Uh, Gol Golfair? Golfian? I can't remember to get that name. Hey, uh, banners are uh, on the same from where I am, but for folks in America, it is, of course, a different time frame as is on the 6th. Other than that, the noodle part is Dwyer is the four star focus unit, so take it out what you will. My, but other than that, though, uh, my thoughts, I'm just gonna probably go straight in for Ophelia, and that's as far as I'll go. If I get uh, the other units, that's fine, but prior focus, more greater focus will be Ordelia nonetheless. Uh, like I said, we did get her stats. So let's double check. The future. So with the weapon stuff, so 39 health's not bad. I believe her weapon was 14 attack, so 50 attack, okay. First speed, 12 defense, 47 res. Although we do have to take kind of still waters in effect here, isn't it? Yeah, so overall, okay, stats. She's a free to play unit too. So yeah, what do you guys, I'll just put, uh, see for her here. Anyway, what do you guys think of the banner? You summon it, you not, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you until next time. Bye.